Hey, you guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV, and we have reached our sixth and final video on Soundit 8 Pro. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Media Browser, and we're going to be showing you how you guys can set up, create your own CD and playlist, and even export a DDP file. So the Media Browser is just right here. You hit Media, and this allows you to actually audition certain tracks. If I click on this one. Take three, rolling. Hot. We can see how we've actually auditioned it. It will also tell us the file format, the size, and everything that we need to know about it. And the next thing we need to take a look at is the playlist. This is actually how we're going to create our CD. All we have to do is add the tracks, and we're going to have Guitar 1, Guitar 2, and Omni. These are the three guitar tracks we've been listening to. Guitar 1 is without effects, 2 is with effects, and Omni is that one which is just the Omni mic in the room. So all I have to do now is if we want to title them, we'll just name this one Guitar Dry. The artist will be DVB. And the ISRC code would be here if we had it. But since this doesn't have one, we do not need that. We also have the ability to choose our gaps. So we can tell this to have a two second gap or non two second gap. We also have a crossfade option to tell us how to fade in and out of each song. So we can actually customize the way that it's going to fade in and out. Now, the same thing for guitar two, we can do guitar wet for the effect. And this one will be room. Again, we just put the artist. And we're good to go. So now we also have the ability to auto level match or even EQ if we have any uh, type of crazy frequency curve that we want to do for our final master. We also have the ability to audition this. And if we do automatic volume adjustment, it's going to go through all of them and process them. Now we also have the ability to export the audio files. We can select the ones we want to do. And we can turn them into WAV files, AIFF, MP3s, or AAC files. You even have the option to send and export to iTunes. You can tell it exactly where you want it to go. So you know what, let's turn all of these into AAC files and export them. Now we can also burn a CD if you have a CD in your drive. This will actually save all of the information, your ISRC codes, your artist name, your titles, everything. We can also create a DDP file which will actually allow us to send these tracks and these files to a CD duplication house. So all we have to do is click there, and I will go select my music, because it should be under music, and that's where I want to put it. And you can see here, it has all the information. And that's it. That's all you really need to do. That's how you can export, burn, write DDP files, and create your artist name, your ISRC codes, and your titling. And like I said, this was just an introductory course on the basics of how this works. If you want to, you should really grab a demo and really try it. This has been Jeremy Taylor with Music Marketing TV, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.